future. Well, hello and a very warm welcome. Here we are in Wuxi for the Grand Slam. It's the day before the competition and we've got all access here in a fantastic stadium, as you can see. We're going to have a look behind the scenes, but first of all, we're going to start where the athletes make their big entrance. So for the Grand Slam, you need a grand entrance under the lights. Big opportunity for the athletes. This is, of course, where they come through to fight. But before they do that, they have to do a little bit of training, as you well know. Let's go and see if we can find some athletes and see what they're up to. So here we are in the training area. What a fantastic place it is as well. This is where the athletes are going to get ready before the big entrance. As you can see just behind me, Team USA going through their final preparations. Team Norway in the corner as well. The day before the competition, let's go and find out what their preparations are. Team USA's Paige McPherson. Good to see you, Paige. Hello. Good to be here. Uh, we just got done with training, so just doing small little preparations for fight day tomorrow. Do you have a game plan for each fighter or are you just going to take it as it comes? Oh, I always take it as it comes. Um, I think that I've fought so many people throughout the years that I'm able uh, to adapt to any situation, any type of fighter. Obviously, it's a different format this year, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Just have, go out there, have some fun and see what happens. Well, we're going to get to see what happens. We're going to follow all the action. Paige, best of luck. Yes, thank you so much. Team USA heavyweight Stephen Lambden. Good to see you. Likewise, and of course, go for it in this one. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think for everybody it's been a really long season. Five Grand Prix, Continental Championships, stuff like that. So everybody's really banged up, but I mean, this is the one everybody wants to win. There's money, there's potential Olympic berths. I mean, I think it's going to be an exciting week just because everybody's going to be throwing everything they've got at it. Jackie Galloway, Team USA, of course, silver medalist last time. A lot of injuries and a big one with the Achilles. You're now back in business. How's the preparation? It's been it's been really good keeping in mind, you know, my success last year at this event. I feel confident going into this one again. I, I've been here before, even with the injury, I've had mixed results since then, but I feel confident stepping into this one again. This is obviously the Grand Slam. Everyone gets to think about the money, the ranking points. How do you keep that freedom in your mind? Just really focusing on stepping in there and just having fun because for so long, for this whole year, I wasn't able to walk and I wasn't able to run or even kick or anything. So really just focusing on stepping in there. I feel I fight my best when I'm loose and free and it's been a little bit hard to find my way back to, to that place in competition, but I feel like it's getting better every day. Well, we certainly wish you the best from not being able to walk to being able to fight at the top level. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you so much. The big man from Norway, Richard Ordeman, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And of course, straight from that big win in the Grand Prix Final, how was that as an experience for you? Um, it was great, it's been a long time coming. Um, and it's uh, something I've been waiting for for quite some time, so it's good to finally get that big win. But mentally there was something different in that Grand Prix Final. Maybe my um, way of entering the whole situation was a bit different. Um, and it's something I've been working on for myself for quite some time. Um, and it's good that it kind of clicked. What about your thoughts for this competition? Have you had a look at who you will go against? Do you plan for them or do you let them deal with you? Um, usually I don't have, I don't do very strategic planning uh, when I fight people. It's very basic, very easy to kind of what, what are their characteristics and how do I want to approach them. And then it flows around a bit more because um, I felt that if I do really hard strategies, it kind of limits myself and then I can't go outside the box. So I keep it very loose um, and that's how I go about it. You're going to go into the competition tomorrow. Final thoughts and preparations between now and then. What do you do? Now it's just rest, relax, refuel, and then I'm good to go. You'll be good to go and we'll get to watch it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. So I've had a chance to see some of the training and also to hear from some of the athletes as well. But how do we get the content back to you at home? It's a big technical production goes on. Lots of lights, lots of cameras, lots of cool stuff to have a look at. So let's go and have a little tour of the production facility. So of course the video broadcast room is where all of the action happens and we get to take a, a little look inside just to see the technical stuff that they have. Lots of cameras, lots of options for you to look at and as we can come in we can see behind the scenes all of the cables, all of the lights but where does all of the action happen? Of course we have 12 cameras, we'll get a little chance to look at them in a moment and as you can see multi-screen, multi-action but one of the most important aspects that we have all of these little complicated dials. This one here is the super slow motion camera, but we'll not touch anything, we don't want to mess with any of the settings. And as you can see, we're all set for some top class action. Multi-screens, time is ticking, but most important, how do we get the action from the court into here? Well, there's 12 cameras on the court, so what we're going to do, have a little look at them. 
So from the production room, of course, what they are producing is all the pictures. Wherever you're joining us from around the world to enjoy your Taekwondo, all the cameras, ringside, courtside, making sure that you get every single bit of information. The Jumbotron, which is above the ring, make sure you can get that overhead view, which gives you, of course, the guideline as to what's happening in the competition. To get those specific details, the big highlights, we've got the super slow motion camera. This bad boy captures all the details and we're going to capture the details of what happens when you win. Let's go and take a little look at the mix zone where the athletes get their final interviews. So of course we've had a real tour of all of the action. We've seen some of the training, we've seen some of the preparation. We've also seen the cameras, how the setup works. What it comes down to will be the last camera when you are here, hopefully with your gold medal around your neck at the end of the competition. It is of course our end of the tour from behind the scenes. You can of course catch up with all the action on the World Taekwondo Recap Show on Instagram. But from all of us here, hope you've enjoyed the little look behind the scenes.